Sometimes life's hard to understand and figure out. But when you change perspective, you see things more clearly with a better focus. Get focused on this week's episode of C9 Life Weekly. Some days you might take a leap forward, other days you might move a centimeter. It doesn't matter. Every day is a step forward towards your goals. What are you doing every single day towards your goals? That's what will bring you success. What a fantastic Monday. It's already 2 o'clock. Got so much things done. I revacuumed right here. I had the vacuum sitting over here for two days. By the time I'm so busy to vacuum just this last bedroom. So I got my bedroom vacuumed. I moved my dresser, I moved my end thing down here, moved that over there, wiped everything down, got a ton of cleaning done, the bathroom, I'm going to go back through and scrub all the bathrooms this weekend, I got the video uploaded, went to Ray's house yesterday, spent like four hours over there, took Duchess, ran around with all the dogs, been great, awesome, fun, this morning, I had the guy messaged me, he's going to be here this evening to buy the uh, white quad, the 450R on 110 race gas, can pick up that with the pedal tires and the gas can it's an awesome 60 some degree cloudy day but it's like 71 Dutch is still tired from yesterday she's been out snoozing all day Linda had to reschedule for five o'clock she's gonna do tomorrow at noon and Duchess tomorrow you are gonna go get all kinds of your shots and everything your annual thing at the vet so we got to get caught up in rabies and that stuff and then I'm gonna mow tomorrow and whoo so much stuff but Danica should be getting here in the next 10 minutes or so. I'm going to keep cleaning, rocking things out. I mean, your house should be really the cleanest out of ever now. And you should be the most in shape. And I still haven't even ate yet today. I don't understand why people are so bored and not doing anything. There's so many things to be done. Just mostly because people are lazy. And you know the reason they're lazy? is because if you want to, you will. If you don't, you won't. And I'm going to keep saying that to you guys. Like, create a little bit more discipline in your lives and from yourselves. Demand more from yourself and change. You should come out of this quarantine changed. Better, more driven, more motivated, more happiness. Looking for everything that you need to make your life better, happier, funner. And like for me with everything now, like dude, if you don't match my energy level, my ambition, my drive, my happiness, my goofiness, my silliness, my don't care what everybody else thinks and everything, if you're not matching my vibe and my level, you out. And I've always been that way, but I'm going to be even stricter. I'm always making sure that I'm changing and who I'm letting around me fits exactly who I am and like my personality. Because there's no time to be around anybody else or have anybody in your life or around your life or in your circle that doesn't make you 100% happy and matches who you are. If you got to change a little bit of who you are and dull yourself to be around the wrong people, you're around the wrong people. It's time to change up your circle. Yet another kick-ass day. Mm. See my hair is so wild. I'm like, just leave it. Mind I'll just let it do its thing. Whatever. What the hell it wants to do. We're getting down. Getting down. I think that's two things now. Remember? Or I told you. All these people like, man, I wouldn't sell nothing right now. I wouldn't put nothing out because nothing's selling. You know, nobody's buying anything this and that. The people that have money have money. They're gonna buy things. They're gonna want to buy toys and stuff during this time to enjoy them because they have more time to enjoy them now. So that's two things I've sold. It's $8,000 I've made so far. That's why I don't listen to people. I do my thing. That's how I built my life. I never listened to the haters and the pessimists and the naysayers and the, you know, I wouldn't do this or I wouldn't do that. Cool. That's you. You live your life. Do your thing. Watch me though. Watch me grow. Watch me keep going up. Watch what I'm doing. That's it. That's what it's about. So bam, I moved the I took the Z400 around for a spin, got it, stretched its legs, so now I have an opening here. Shop's getting more and more open. Put the maintainer on the razor. So I don't know when I'm gonna tell you guys the next thing that's coming. I don't know, maybe it'll be this week, maybe it'll be next week, maybe it'll be a couple weeks. I don't know, whenever the heck I want to. So see, that's what I tell people. 
do your thing. Don't worry about what other people are saying or doing or their advice sometimes and stuff like that, even though what I'm doing is giving you advice. But it just doesn't matter. Like, it doesn't matter as long as you try. So literally sold that quad doing that. Cody hit me up and he saw Cody leaving. That was in the white car. He hit me up to about one to train over here. So that's bam, making money for him training in my home gym while I'm making money selling a quad. Making money doing everything. You keep telling me that everybody's broke and there's nothing going on this and that. You can make m people during like pandemics and you know like depression and stuff like that. There's still people making money. You just need to learn to adapt and overcome and like my hand, eh, prevail above all. You gotta come out on top. You gotta use your head more than a hat rack. You gotta use ingenuity and think outside the box. And there's so many ways to make money. The world is vast with money and opportunities and everything. But it just takes your lazy ass to think outside the box and get up and actually put in some work and make shit happen. That's it. It's that simple and easy. I'm gonna wash the big truck tomorrow. It's gonna be awesome. 80 something degrees. I'm gonna mow. I'm gonna do so many other things while it's nice out. Doing all this stuff gives you like a high. I'm high naturally on life. People are always like, man, I'm relaxing on my front porch and my hammock. They're like, where's your drink at? I don't need a drink. I don't need anything to alter my state of mind. Like, I enjoy the moments. I enjoy hustling and grinding and being productive. That's my high. That's what gets me excited and at peace and relaxed and fulfilled and just, ah, everything. You see? That's why I'm so excited about everything. I just love it. I love life. I don't need a substance or an alternative source to make me feel happy and good. Because if you ain't feeling happy and good just from your own mind and what you're doing in life, you're doing something wrong. I'm gonna figure out what I'm gonna do for dinner. Maybe support something local. My stuff's not done thawing, so I don't know. That's it for today. See you tomorrow for a terrific Tuesday. Talk about a crazy upcoming Tuesday. Oh my lord, today is going to be packed full. And you see, like, I got to bed probably finally at 2 a.m. Wide awake at 6.30. Yes, 6.30. Four to six hours, I'm good, I'm great, I'm rocking. But it's just when you're excited and you're happy and you're passionate about stuff and you're just doing you and what exactly truly makes you happy, like... You ready to go? You ready to rock? I, I gotta, I gotta look at all this stuff today again. Bam! I got more people hitting me up. Got to do Michelle from nine to ten a.m. Shelby's eleven to noon. Noon to one o'clock is Linda. Then I got to take Duchess to the vet for her annual checkup and shot checkup at one to two. Two thirty. I got to train a girl out in Holton, so I got to drive there. Then three. That's till three, and then I got another lady. Going to drop off her 15-year-old daughter that does plays volleyball and everything. Going to drop her off at like 4, 4, 15, but she's going to confirm that. So, like, yeah, from 9 o'clock to 5 p.m., like, I think I have one hour in between, and that's after this client now, and I'm going to eat in that time and get the few things done that I can because busy, packed. It's not even just busy. I don't people just say busy. It's productive. That's what it's about is being productive, staying on top of your... Hang on top of your game and what makes you, like, the hap The more productive you are and the busier you are is usually all because you're happy. It's because you're happy and you're doing what you love. And it's not one single bit of this feels like work or, oh, man, look at all this crap I got going on today. No, it's none of that. It's all just happy, good, great, awesome. There's Creston. There's Kristen Cat pulling up the old trash can. I do need to mow. I was gonna mow today. Tomorrow's gonna be windy, so I might have to be mowing somewhat tomorrow because back today. Maybe I can mow after five or six o'clock. Still got some sunlight after that, but woo! Just happy, man. Be happy. Poor little Duchess, so scared now that the vet 
they have a sign on the door it says please remain in your vehicle and the staff member will be out to assist you questions phone number blah yeah so came here and they ended up coming out and they grabbed her and duchess wanted somebody else she's like i want to be with dad and it's so funny to watch her have to get drug inside and then the little window that is next to the uh um the door you could see her little head pop up like she was trying to look at me like no it's funny but so she can in there get all of her shots caught up blah 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 heartworm check but man i've been so stupid busy today i had three clients today i finally got to eat in between the 15 minutes i had in between uh from 12 to 12 15 and then right after this i gotta go and i gotta head to holton to go uh, train a lady at her apartment. So, man, and then another lady was gonna drop her kid off at four o'clock tonight, but I'm not sure if she's still gonna do that. She hasn't got back to me, she was gonna confirm. But if she doesn't, I'm not gonna be hating it because I've been on the go since 9 a.m. this morning. But I do need to, um, I wanna grab a, I need to mow. Tomorrow's gonna be windy and everybody else is mowing as you can hear it around. So we're gonna wait for a little puppy dog to, get done with all of her shots and blood work and rabies and everything else and she'll be good for another year yay well that went good with desiree we've got a kick-ass session in good 30 minutes she had to go get her kids so that's cool she tried paying me more i was like dude i come to you it takes me 20 minutes to drive there gas is what i'm literally going to show you look at that can you see it? Dollar ten. Dollar ten a gallon. So, yeah, how quick is that? And easy? Like, I don't need your money. Like, even breaking even was fine. I'm still making money even having to drive up to her. But we'll be getting something figured out with her going sooner. But some more sessions coming. But man, got another guy that hit me up. So much. So many opportunities everywhere. Gas crazy. Gas dollar ten right now on April 7, 2020. Crazy. Let's get home. Cody wants to come over and lift. I need to mow. The other lady hasn't hit me back about her daughter, so we'll get it figured out. Look at this. Yeah. Ten gallons. I'm at twelve dollars. Isn't that crazy? Let's see what it fixed out at. Eleven point three gallons at twelve dollars and fifty-four cents mind blown Man, it's like the first time I've been back on my camera all day. I love the, just going from the iPhone to the iPhone 10. how great it is. Quality and everything, I can just have it in my pocket and it goes good. And this is the iPhone XS, but it's up so much better on sound. And the program for Wonder, for Filmora is even better. It's great too, but man, you saw that uh, I was over on the, I went over to land to cruise around on the side-by-side. -side, and uh, I had somebody pulling up on a side-by-side -side up on the land. It's a half mile long driveway, so you, you're going back there for a purpose. And uh, they're on side by side and their dogs, and I'm like, who the heck's this? So they ended up coming up, and they were like, hey, what are you doing? I was like, just riding on my land. They were like, your land? I was like, yeah, I'm the one that bought it. He was like, oh, really? So we ended up talking just for an hour now. Great people, Dave Watson and his wife. So they bought the house. We talked for an hour, caught up on everything and this and that. Good, great people. I'm happy with them. They're like, hey, I was going to ask, like, you know, we were going to try to figure out who bought it, you know, and ask if we can ride on it because we'd like to, you know, ride on it. I'm like, yeah, dude, come ride on it. Like, I don't know. It's just I enjoy having things that other people can use and, you know, enjoy. Like, why just be stingy with your stuff? Like, I'm going to be, if what's it's land. I, it's land to go tear up and ride around on a quad or side by side and just zip around and play on. So I'm like, yeah, you got a side by side. Like, get on here and play whatever you want, whenever you want. It don't matter to me. And if I ever decide to put a gate on it, like, I'll give you guys a key. Like, just come have a good time. So they're happy for that. And we, um, 
just chatted and then came back and zipped around. You guys saw that. And it's a good day. I'm dusty as hell. <laughs> so I need to take a shower. Still haven't ate for a while. The whole house is still open. You know, it's already 9 o'clock, but yeah, it's 9-11 by the time I got home. Just got done feeding Duchess. It's still 73 in the house, which is awesome. So I don't know. I'm going to see what it gets down to tonight and maybe keep the house open. Well, that's just got done eating. That, everything came back. Oh, I was going to tell you guys. I looked at her paperwork. She's down to 92.3 pounds. She was 98 last time, so she's getting a little bit thinner. I like her around mid-80s, which is good for her. So 92 is good. What I'm doing is working for her. She just needs to get up and be more active, which it's a lot better now that it's warmer outside. And she's outside more. Great. Kick-ass day. Excited, happy, fun. I love it all. Love you guys. I'll see you tomorrow. Well, let me tell you today, this morning, woke up six something at the bed of like midnight. Felt awesome, great, phenomenal. I made eggs last night for like a burritos. Okay, well, felt like the house was pretty light. Yeah, come outside the garage and there she is. That's, she's, she's bright. Where you guys at? Okay, there you are. Wow. It's like 9.30. Trevin's coming over from 10 to 11 to do some training. First time he's coming over. My buddy that owns Rockstar Auto Detailing. Might even get him to plug and shout himself out. Probably will. He's a good business guy. Really good uh, motivate entrepreneur. So I'm always happy about that. But see, this is like some people don't understand why people burn fields. So this is why. Why people burn the grass. Remember how it was all black? just from all being charred. Look at that. It's been, what, a week? And see how it's already halfway green. That's what it's about. Kill out all the old dead vegetation, brings in new vegetation. But it is like, what, 70? No, 66, 64, 60, 65, we'll call it 65. Already, so it's awesome, it's great, but it sucks because today it's just going to get windier and windier, but it's going to be up like maybe not even 10 mile an hour wind until like noon or so. That's going to get like 20, so I'm going to enjoy as much as I can. I do want to run to Sam's Club. I do need to get some stuff. Finally used about the last bit of stuff that I use on a daily basis. But see, look how long it's been. It's because I stock up. Listen to this tanker. Come here. I can hear you a lot more now. Now that you got your new... Now that you got your new rabies tag, look at that bling bling. It's red instead of the old blue one. Got her new rabies shot yesterday. So now it ting ting tings. Your poor little paw. Give me your paw. Nope, other one. There you go. Your poor little paw where they gave you shots yesterday. Your poor little puppy paw. No? I know. But that's good. So it's kind of weird hearing her coming. Sounds like a little cow. Walking with her ting, 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 because the other one's been so worn down being aluminum. I need to cut my nails. Maybe I'll do that this morning. I'm hyper. I'm really in a great mood. Everything's going great. Life is phenomenal. Warm weather. Nice weather just brings out the ultimate happiness in me. So, we're going to get rocking and going. I'm done talking to you guys. Just watch out. You're already kind of fat. <laughs> All right, then. been a busy day my buddy Trevin we talked for like probably an hour and a half after the training he's an entrepreneur great mindset like-minded awesome great dude and then uh, a friend of sex you saw Anthony was driving by and he stopped to talk shit and run his mouth like always which is good friends do and then he uh, um, ended up then another one of my friends stopped by because they were in the neighborhood so I ended up talking with them for Jeez, probably two or three hours just out on the porch and the hammock and sitting in the chairs. Just good, great conversation. That is what it's today is about. Good, great people with conversations and like my mentalities. But now, we're doing tacos. What? And who is, who's we? Ended up uh, Dustin and Marky and Shannon. They hit me up. Fail. <laughs> I gotta know what the play is. 
And I'm cooking chicken. Bam. Yeah. So, that's about what they get. So I'm going to finish doing this. Destroy a good night. Nothing. That's it. Good people. Great times. If you don't got good people around you, quit being around them. Distance yourself. Like-minded people are everything. If somebody doesn't match your mental state or better, get rid of them. They can always grow with you, but chances are most people want to stay where they're at and they're stuck. They don't want to do any better, but you do. You want to do better? Do better. Just don't be afraid to cut those ties and leave them behind you. You can't drag others along. If you start dragging people, you're not going to be able to go as high or be as happy. Little bit of a rough Thursday. Last night got a little, uh, little not wouldn't say out of hand, but man, that uh, just had like a drink, and then it turned into like three drinks. By the time it is, you know, I barely ever drink. But before all that, after we ate, went and grabbed, uh, took the sandal car out, and went flying around, went over the other land, and ended up when we went back there, there was a big truck or a big tractor and. Uh, like a semi with a flatbed back there because the guy's having part of my driveway is where they use the field so they're going to clear some stuff out so we we're coming back and a guy was coming down the road i'm like what's up he's like hey what are you doing back here he's like i'm just coming back here to check in the equipment and we dropped off and i was like okay that's cool fine then another vehicle comes up and it was the guy that was the neighbor over here so i finally met him and talked to him about everything for like 20 30 minutes now nah, yeah probably 20 minutes and then ended up Another then the guy, first guy's wife started coming out of the driveway because wondering where the heck he was because we were talking. The damn party. So did that, flew back, cold. Ugh. Whatever. It was fun. Enjoyed it. Then uh, just last night, just man, like the good people you have over. So crazy. Like the people that actually like, that's why I like having people like those friends over because they're, they care. Like I'm cooking chicken while doing that and I come in and like, I'm like cutting up my chicken for, you know, meal prep for my containers. As it's like done and everything else that I didn't do. And then two, like I'm bringing the chicken in and doing that while I'm grabbing other stuff. One of them grabs the knife and they start chopping up the chicken and everything and putting it in containers and doing that. Like, I don't have to do anything. I was like, okay, well, dang, okay, well, let me. Next thing you know, out of nowhere, like they started doing like the dishes. I'd bring a container in and they just grab it from me and start washing it. And then they'd start to... Uh, and then I looked in the dishwasher because I was having everything dry, air out and dry since it was done in the morning. And then they started putting dishes away. Just started like opening cabinets up and finding the dishes and putting everything away where it goes. Like without even being asked or anything. Like I'm like, you just don't have to do that. But you can see it's not. It's like, you know, maybe like they spilt like a little bit of a drink, like a drop or two. And they get a paper towel, wipe it up. Even Marky grabbed the trash and took the trash out because it got full. Like... Just people like good people, man. It's what I want to talk about is just good damn people. If you're not having good people like that in your circle and like close to you, like that's why I never like really would have people around because people just sometimes just don't care and don't take care of your stuff or like respect, you know, your place. And if people aren't doing that, you need to let them go. It's not worth the time having them around when you find real good people and genuine. Oh, genuineness is hard to come by. So... Stick with those people, have those people, appreciate those people, tell them, dude, I really appreciate you doing that. I really appreciate this. I really appreciate that. Thank you for everything. But I need to eat or something, but hey, look, there's Michelle. Michelle is coming down the driveway. I got three training clients today. So nine to 10, 11 to 12, and five to six. So let's get this done. Dude, four o'clock already. Man. Insane. Um gonna eat. Gonna eat, gonna eat, gonna eat right now.
but man, it's been a uh, weird. People, did, everybody's just been in a kind of weird funk. Michelle this morning, five minutes of training, talked for the next hour and a half. And then like ended up leaving. I was like, I'm not charging you for today. Just, she was in a weird mental state. Crystal came over for an hour session, trained for 10 minutes, and we talked for like the next hour and a half, almost two hours. Like, it was just, it was just helping both of them mentally. Like, today, it's kind of crazy. Today, they both needed more mental, a mental workout than they did a physical. And they both left happier and feeling better and more to think about and what to work on and to really just think about what they need and to become happier and what's going on with them and why they're in this funk and everything. Because I always question everything. Why are you feeling this way? If you're not feeling right, what's wrong? Dig deep. You gotta go down that rabbit hole, figure out what you need, what you need to change, what's going on. Yeah, both of them didn't even like they didn't even like try, like, okay, hey, let's get back to training, this and that. They all just kind of got more into it and the more in depth and talking and going and just Yeah, it was all about today it was just mental workouts for them. Got Linda here at five o'clock, so another hour. So I need to do my win-win Wednesday. It'd be a win-win Thursday, but I need to get it done. I think that's what I'm gonna talk about today. It's just Unlike just regular workouts, you got to work on that mental health. Mental health is so underappreciated and talked about. It always has, probably always will be. But we got to start getting into it more. Because your mental is everything. It's what you have. So I'm just really in that, that deep thinking mood today with all that and everything. That emotional connection, that emotional intelligence, that compassion to understand like what people need instead of like you know just ignoring it like I just their vibe and their aura felt off so sometimes you know you got to step in and just figure out what's wrong with them and help them out that's all I did I'm glad I did it I'm glad I paid attention to it because they both left a lot happier and a workout wasn't going to accomplish that I'm going to eat do a win on Wednesday get that going chill for a little bit it's 4 o'clock I still haven't ate yet today Busy going, when you're doing what you love and you're passionate about, like, it's easy to forget and get wrapped up into things. You need to stop and make more time. Back, 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 back. Just like you're feeling there, tighten everything up, squeeze yourself up and forward. Yep, nice slow control, drive, 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 good. Right there, feeling right there, right underneath the button in your hamstring. Right there, squeeze that. Perfect, good. Not nailing it at all. We're not even right. We're doing bam. We're squeezing it tight, man. Tight all the way through here. Keeping that up. Drop, drop, drop. Squeeze, squeeze. Perfect. <sighs> Yesterday was just a weird ass Thursday. That is for sure. So today's gonna be a fantastic Friday. I already feel it. It's great. I got a lady that. Miss me today, so I got Danica from 2 o'clock to 3 o'clock, and I got a lady bring me her 13 year old son from 3 to 3.30. So that's cool. Be good today. Oh, it's like 8 o'clock. I started watching Tiger King last night. That's crazy trip of a story. But after Linda, yeah, we trained for like almost two hours. Because we ended up, there's some things she wanted to talk about. So we talked for like two hours, and then uh, really trained. Got kick ass, and then I was just so exhausted from like doing a little bit of that drinking the other night. I just felt hog, like hazy, I'm <laughs> hazy and foggy, which is just nuts. Cause like I was like basically between three mixed drinks, it was like two shots. That was it. And what is that? It's like it's poison for your body. Alcohol is just poison. That's why you do a 15 minute workout, you start feeling better the next day and more energized. And that you drink any little bit of alcohol, you feel more. You feel down. Your body's trying to get rid of it and process it, get the poison out of your body. So that's all it is. It's what it is. It is. So I was exhausted yesterday for that. Just wanted to stop and relax. I guess it was mentally taxing. I was mentally just done. So I just caught it the day after Linda, watched some TV on that, had a good night, ended up crashing out here on the chase. So that was good, great, awesome. Now I'm going to start a laundry. I'm going to do that stuff. Dishes done. I'm going to shower. I'm thinking about going to Sam's Club. It's already nine. 
Might have time before 2 o'clock with that. I don't know. So many things to do. I got to do a win-win Friday now. Win-win Thursday. I didn't do that because, yeah. We're going to get it. We're going to get shit done. We're just, sometimes you just got to listen to yourself and just get things done at the right times because other things are going to pop in. So I always tell you, get shit done as quick as possible and right when things happen because like that, things come up. Now something that should have been done Tuesday or Wednesday is now taking until Friday because other things come up. I had time, you know, random here and there, but I didn't have it planned of like what I want to talk about, so I wasn't ready. So I guess they're ready and prepared, all times. Shit happens and shit comes up. No matter what, I was going to talk about you. Who are you? Where are you at? I'm Monique here in Topeka at the at and All Wanamaker. Damn, because I'm getting, my protection plan was on a family plan. I had to do it individually while I stopped here. We talked for what? 15, 20 minutes in the yeah. beginning. Like, shh, we won't tell her manager anything. But man, where are you from originally? I am originally from West Palm Beach, Florida. And I, we figured that out because I'm going to Doral or Doral? Doral. Doral. Okay, somebody said it's pronounced differently than normally what you do. But yeah, so we started talking and talked about C9 Life and everything else. And she's like, bam, I needed this today. Like, you never know, like, God is going to place somebody in there and going to start talking and just something that you might need. You might need a kick in the ass every now and then, right? Yes. So I'm so happy about that. I'm excited. It just gets my blood flowing. Great to meet you. You're gonna follow me, and then we can stay in contact. Yes. And when you're in Florida, we can hang out and talk more positivity, like-minded mindsets, and just mindsets and positivity. That's ah. Winning mindset. You get it. That's her hashtag. She uses it all the time. Winning mindset. So well, you guys, hello. you guys need to have a winning mindset. Bam. Two hundred ninety-eight dollars. It's right under three hundred. Fucking good deals, right? Right? Good. Great. Awesome. And literally, I was pulling in, and I saw her pulling right down the street. Couldn't beat any more of a timing. So she's going to warm up on the elliptical right now, right? Yeah. And then we're going to train. Dude, I don't even know how the heck it became 6.30 now. And I'm now heating up my dinner for the second time. Because I got cold sitting in there because I'm, because uh, I'm doing, God, when I got home, um, I talked to that lady at at and for another 20 minutes after that, because great mindset, she does stuff, blah, 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 great, awesome lady. Um, yeah, Sam's Club, that's always so crazy seeing people on masks and stuff, but they still have no idea like how to use masks or gloves and touching all this stuff and touching their face, so all the crap, they think they're doing good, but they're doing all the same shit you're not supposed to be doing. Whatever else. Got everything pretty much I needed. There was, there was no toilet paper and there was no disinfectant wipes. I had uh, no rice at Sam's Club. So that sucks. Got all the way home. Threw all that literally down the driveway as I watched uh, Danica pulling in. As I was pulling in my driveway, she's pulling down the road. So got her done and trained for a good hour. And then Ashley and her son showed up. We got a good hour in with him. Talk because he, he's more sports, athletic, hockey, and this and that. Kick ass. Then Cody hit me up like before they were done, asking if he could come over and train. So he just ended up leaving after a good hour session or a 30 minute getting his workout in. Talk. So then I came in to do while I was, Danica, I was doing that. I was having to unload groceries and do that while I was talking, uh, training her and doing everything. So then I had finally decided to come in here and start knocking on my vlog. And I've been away from my phone for two minutes now. And I already have all these messages and everything to get to, so heard dinging like five times already since I've been out here for two minutes. I already got another lady, the lady that actually sold me the engagement ring. She's coming over tomorrow morning at from Hell's World, the Hellsburg lady. So she's coming over tomorrow morning at 10 a.m. to train. Then I have Crystal at 11, and yeah, I just need to get eat and get this this Win Win Wednesday up and. Ah, it's so overwhelmed, but you know what? I'm happy. I love it. It's great. It's awesome. Like, it's so weird that somebody gets like this, they would get anxiety and they would get stressed out and overwhelmed and everything. And literally, this is my comfort zone. This is where I'm happy. This is where I'm most at peace and I'm relaxed. If I have more things to do in a day than I do hours, 
I'm happy. This that's what just gets my gears going. I just love it. It's just awesome. You can be as lazy, as busy, as motivated, as slacking off as you want. You can do whatever you want, but I don't care what you do as long as you're happy. Do what makes you happy. Do what just fulfills your heart and what drives you. That's it. I don't think there's anything else. I mean, put up the post about Florida so people understand why I'm going to Florida. Never told you guys about it yet, but you understand. It's just a little more details. Is I don't, um, I never, I haven't felt like I've fit in here. I belonged here for years. People that really know me know that I've always, I've been anxiety about I want to leave. I need to go. I need to explore. I need to go do stuff. I got to get out. I got to go. I've been just having so much anxiety getting stuck here. And it's just, I don't fit in with the people and the mentality. People just want to drink and party and not do anything with their lives or any of that. So it's just not me. I want to be around motivated, ambitious, driven people. I want to be the least successful out of a group of friends. I want to be people want to grow. They want to, you know, grind and just hustle all the time and not really care to drink or party. They want to grind and build big businesses and stuff because that's just what makes them happy. And those are the people that I can be around. Those are people that understand me. Because there's, I just find there's not a lot of people like me. So I need to go find my people. Maybe you need to go find your people. Who are the people that you should feel comfortable around and that you want to go out and do things? I want to go out and do things and explore and do that. Like it was 70 and 80 degrees for so long and then today's like windy and crap. Yesterday was crap. The rest of the week's going to be crap. Like it's just going to be shitty weather. I, just, I need to be somewhere where it's just nice so I can be active and I can be out and act, just going. Mm, it's what I just need. Find out what you need and go get it. Go take it. Don't waste your life being a content to where you're settling. Don't be at a level of contentness to where you're settling. Be at a level of content to where you feel like you're thriving. And it's that fulfilled contentness that there's nothing else you'd rather be doing or a place you'd rather be or anything that could ever be better. Don't settle for, eh, it's okay, it's all right, it's mediocre. Your life's going to end one day. Everything in your life needs to be 100% happiness, 100% what feels right, the vibe is right, the people are right. And you might have to explore. You might have to travel. You might have to try new things. You might have to get out of your comfort zone. But the best things will come from it. That's all I'm giving you guys from this vlog. Tired, I'm exhausted, I got so many things to do, I still gotta get this Win Win Wednesday up and thumbnails made and stuff like that and answer all these questions and paperwork. I got money put away and but damn does it make me happy. Even though I already ended my vlog, little expert on the end that Nate decides to hit me up what flies next week and we were supposed to buy a little trailer. Yeah. So now he's here. It's 1207 now. And he got here at what? 11? Yeah, we talked for a good hour now. Yeah, something like that. You know, talk good. Drove what? Two hours? Right at. Yeah, right at two hours. Buy a little trailer. Dutch is gonna get a drink, she got pets. This is weird. Wow, that's weird seeing that. Empty. You know what I really want to do? Hot tub there, because there's an outlet right there. Yeah, and it's perfect for another carport. Hmm. Yeah. There goes there goes the little guy. Little trailer out. Gonna have a good new life. Thanks, John. Yeah, of course. Thanks uh, for getting out of my way and sitting there not resting away. <laughs> Join the night.